nestled up in an overgrown driveway. This $10 million mega mansion was once one of the most popular and talked about properties in the whole United States. Since its construction began in the early 2000s, it was the dream of the owners to make it more than just a home, rather an emperor's palace where they could live every day lavishly with every necessity they would want. Including a massive backyard, countless fountains throughout, and even a lake behind it to swim, no expense was spared. And as every day passed, Mr. Osai was closer and closer to achieving his dream. However, the dream was short-lived, and after his business went bankrupt, the house was foreclosed, only months after his home was complete. For years, it sat vacant, until it was bought by a movie director who included the property in various TV shows and movies. Just a few years later, he moved across the country for other projects and left the home abandoned. Since 2016, and has been left for the elements, and slowly rots away. So as you first walk into this place, this is the front doors right here. And there's a double door actually. There's these doors and then another door right over there. And so you walk in to this pretty big living room right here. And this is the master staircase right here. To be honest, it's not one of the best I've seen, but it does go up and the natural lighting in here is pretty insane. There isn't a lot of furniture left. I'm not sure why, maybe the place went foreclosed. Um, but there is a lot of personal belongings, such as clothes and other things like that. So here's the other side of the fireplace. So it's like a double fireplace. There's some nice marble as well. There's a nice stone. If you know what type of stone this is, definitely let me know in the comments. Beautiful light fixture too. It's pretty nice. And here's a look at the front of the property. And you can see the many fountains that this place has. It's beautiful. Here's another look at the staircase. It's beautiful. And as we continue going on along this hallway right here, we're gonna encounter another living room, the kitchen, and then this room right here which does have a lot of furniture still inside, as well as a bunch of personal belongings as well. It's so sad that this chandelier is just left here. It's a beautiful chandelier. Could have been repurposed or something. Yeah, a lot of clothes still here though. So they definitely left in a hurry. I don't know what happened, but when you leave clothes like this, something definitely has to happen. Look at all this, all these movies. That's crazy. It looks like they had kids too. They're learning how to read and write. And what's cool is each of these doors going out to the outside has this little balcony right here. It's not a big balcony at all, but you can still get a nice view of the outside and the big backyard that they used to have. They definitely did have a very beautiful property. It is very large and spacious as well. What's back here? Oh, okay, it looks like a bathroom. A very open bathroom too. If anyone comes down this driveway, you can pretty much just look in. That's me, what's up? Pretty basic sink though. Nothing too interesting. I'm assuming they'll be better in the upstairs. There's another side staircase, other than the master one that we just saw in the living room. But this right here seems to be the main living room. 
the one we saw before, that might have been some secondary place, maybe to just warm up to the guests. And this will be the main one right here, just judging by the couch and another fireplace. There might have been a TV somewhere on one of these walls where you could have watched. And there's a nice cabinet still left here too, with nothing really inside, unfortunately. But that's all good. We get the idea. Wow, look at this. This actually has a lot left behind right here. This is the kitchen area. Yeah. So this right here might have been, I want to say a dining room, or like a dining area. But at the same time, it does look like a living room. So I'm not really sure. This definitely might have been the dining area right here. You know, if it's just a family, they don't have anyone over and it doesn't need to be formal at all. But again, just take a look at all the natural lighting in this place. There's doors and windows on almost every corner. That's pretty wild. And this island in the middle is pretty cool too. Definitely is pretty big. Let's see if there's still stuff in the cabinets. No, there's not. The appliances are pretty new though. Like this is, this is definitely new. Yeah. It's definitely strange. I don't know what's going on here, but there are some food here though. Low fat, yogurt, some beans, some canned goods, things like that. And right here's the garage. Of course, not much here. Four car garage though, which is pretty big. You can have a lot of cars. It is pretty nice. And it looks like they were doing renovations at some point because there are a lot of wood planks the materials over there in that corner too. This living room is pretty nice though, or whatever the setup is. You know, the three couches and then the table in the middle. It is very beautiful setup. This house is quite weird though, because all the clothes are still left behind. Look at that. It looks like that's on too. One thing I forgot to mention is that the water damage is really starting to grow in this property. Take a look at all the wood and just like pretty much growing up. So that's definitely not good. If you were to buy this house, you would definitely have to remodel all the wood floors. Not only in this room, as we keep going along the first floor. And you see that pretty much all of the wood floors are pretty much rotten and just gone. So. That's definitely gonna be a big problem to whoever buys this house. But anyway, enough of this first floor. Let's go up and explore the second. Let's go up the, the lame master staircase right here. Again, nothing too fancy. We've definitely seen better on this channel, but the size of the property is just huge and that's what makes it cool. Definitely is a bit warmer up here. And the first room we enter seems to be a small bedroom. Take a look at this. And all the clothes are still hanging up too. Look at all that. And there's even more just laying down on the ground. Wow. Nice bathroom with some pretty good natural lighting. The ceiling goes up pretty high. That I say is more than 20 feet, maybe 25. A nice shower in this corner right here. 
sink isn't bad either. With a nice stone. Beautiful sink, nonetheless. Again, they definitely had kids. That's another hint that they did. But continuing on, this is a little side view from the top of the master staircase. And of course the natural lighting and the beautiful chandelier up there too. This definitely would have been maybe the master bedroom though. Very nice, really. You know, the, the bed setup might have been here. And then of course the fireplace. And then you could have got out there to the roof. And you can see that there's some chairs already out there. So they definitely enjoyed that part of the house. And then this right here would have been the master bathroom. And then maybe some closet area or storage space right here. Let's take a look at this bathroom though. I'm assuming it's gonna be really nice. And it really is. There's a fireplace in this bathroom right here. And even a bathtub too, with a beautiful view of the outside. Those are those chairs I mentioned earlier. The shower is beautiful too. It's completely see-through. And of course the abundance of windows is really beautiful as well. Of course, a toilet, then the double sink, then the medicine cabinets where the wife could do her makeup or whatever necessary. Let's see if we can open this. I don't know if we can. No, that's a shame. Definitely is a very beautiful master bedroom though. I'm very impressed already. And although there's not a lot of furniture left behind, we can still get an idea of what this place used to look like. Here's another room right here. With a lot more clothes as well. And you could see that the water damage has really started to grow over here as well. Look at that hole in the ceiling. And so this bed is going to just rot, really. It's not good for the bed. Then, of course, a little bathroom. And a closet full of clothes. Look at that. It's very sad. Definitely very sad to see. And they even had an elevator. That right there is the door to the elevator. Very beautiful. And of course, here's the side staircase. And the top part of that window right there. I believe this place has four floors, including the basement. So after we finish with this floor, we still have one more to check out. It seems that this floor is just gonna be bedrooms and stuff. Because I think this place does have nine bedrooms. That's the count I got from uh, Zillow. So, definitely a pretty big property, not gonna lie. And of course, another bedroom right here. And a bathroom. But this seems to be the last area of the second floor. And it's a pretty big one too. This might have been the bedding area. And then this. Oh, okay. Actually, never mind. I don't know, this seems to be a second master bedroom in this house. So it looks like they had two. And then this right here is closet and bathroom space, I guess. And then this big room with the stone walls is just for the bed and things like that. This fan is weird too. It only has two blades left. I don't know what happened to the others, but it's a strange fan now.
But let's check out the third floor. We're here at the, the side staircase. I figured we'd give it a give it a go. See how it is. And this is the third floor. I don't think the third floor is gonna be that impressive to be honest. However, I might be wrong. You never know. It looks like just attic space really. And there could have been some addition, additional uh, bedrooms. And of course a bathroom. Or maybe even storage space as well. If this place had furniture, this would have been pretty insane. But unfortunately there's not a lot of that left behind. It is all good though, not a problem. Here's another look at the master chandelier. It's very big. Imagine what this place would have looked like in its heyday. Definitely would have been looking really good. And this is a pretty expensive neighborhood as well. So we're surrounded by big houses and big properties as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We explored pretty much the whole place. This was the third and final floor of this property. The basement doesn't have anything inside. That's how I came in. It's pretty much just like a skeleton. But yeah, that's it. We'll check out the outside. Let's go there now. All right guys, we are going outside though because I did want to show how beautiful and grand outside of this property is. Let me take a little look at the outside. Wow, let's take a look at that fountain over there and the pillars of course going around. And look at that. It looks beautiful from the outside, it really does. Absolutely gorgeous. There's even an old fountain over here too. That would have run down. And lights surrounding it as well. Absolutely beautiful house. As the years pass, this eyesore in the neighborhood has become more and more of a nuisance for neighbors who plan on repossessing and demolishing the house. As of now though, it will continue to rot without a future.